This is my Belle Inspired Hair Look. This is also great for every day. Maybe you lose the bow for every day, but it's a really simple and quick look to do. Thanks again to Lisa for doing all the photography for this little mini series, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I'm gonna start off with parting my hair just off center. If your hair is better in the center parting, then by all means do that if you have a fringe or anything. And I'm gonna start by teasing. There are many different ways to tease, but I prefer this one, so I'm just going to separate little sections of hair and just back comb that with a little brush. I find this just the easiest way to do this and you don't need any fancy teasing brushes or fancy equipment to do this. After I've vacuumed this I'm just going to spray with a tiny bit of hairspray and just to keep that in place and I'm just going to be carrying on doing that all the way down my hair. This just really helps give a lot of volume to the look and just helps the look also stay in place for a lot longer. I find if you tease a updo like this it just stays in place for a lot longer and it can last really all day. So now that you've done all the teasing just kind of comb the top of this section flat just to make sure you can't see all that back combing because it looks a bit strange if you don't and just make sure that all of the hair is where you want it to be. Then start twisting your hair just back to the side of your face. Um, just make sure that um, as you're starting off you grab quite a lot, big section of hair and then just as you're twisting down add a tiny bit more section. So it's sort of like a French twist like a French braid but you're twisting instead and just make sure that the shape of the hair is as you would like it and then just simply pin it back into place and now do the other side I did this off camera because I find making them even quite difficult and then once you've got the shape that you like just pull everything back into a hair tie and then just remove all the bobby pins because they can be a bit irritating also lets the look look a bit more natural and if there are any odd sections like the one here just comb the back and just twist them into place back there and secure with a bobby pin if you need to do that. Then take the ribbon and just put it at the back of your hair and then just tie it in a very pretty bow. Get somebody else to do this if you're a bit cack-handed with doing this. I had to have mine retied for the photos but um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I shall see you guys later. Bye!